today I'm going to show you how to create a cool Russian nesting doll image just using some stock photography in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and get started. First you need a front facing portrait and you also need to find an image of an empty bowl and the bowl needs to be shot at the same angle as your portrait. So you don't want a bowl shot from too high or too low. You want that to be about the same angle as the portrait. So here we have two images that are pretty perfect for each other. Um, you want to go ahead once you've found these, open up your portrait image into Photoshop and then do a file, place embedded and place the bowl image on top. Then you're gonna go ahead and take the visibility away from the bowl. Just click on the little eyeball here and we're gonna duplicate our portrait image. So I'm going to either hit um, control click or right click and duplicate this layer or you can also hit command J and that will duplicate. Uh, once you're done with that, go ahead and turn the original portrait image off. You can just do that by clicking on the little eyeball. And then we're going to mask out this image so that our background goes away. So I'm just going to use my quick selection tool because it is quick, i.e. why it's called the quick selection tool. Um, you can just cl click inside of your portrait here, inside of your person, and that will start to kind of autofill and sense where these edges are and go ahead and select for you the best kind of outline for your person. If you over select in any areas, you can always hold your command key down and then go in and deselect, or you can click up here on the little minus and that will deselect as well. Got a little notch out of the ear there, but now we're looking pretty good. So once we have this all selected, we're gonna go ahead and mask this. We're gonna put a layer mask onto it. And you can do that just by clicking on the little icon down here that looks like a Japanese flag. It's a little rectangle with a circle in the center. Click on that, and now we can see we have a transparent background, which is what we want. Now the other thing that we wanna do is, here we can see we have our mask on our image, if you need to paint any of this mask out to kind of perfect it, or um, if there's anything that you see that you need to correct, do that now. And then if you're happy with your mask, I want us to go ahead and make this a more permanent part of the image. So we're gonna do that by right clicking on this layer and we're going to convert this layer to a smart object. So find convert to smart object. And then do that again, control click or right click on that layer and we're gonna rasterize that layer. Okay, so once we've done that, we need to start working with our bowl layer. So I'm gonna turn the visib visibility back onto that layer. I'm gonna take my opacity down just a little bit. Whoops, be good if I was in the right layer. Let me do that. Uh, take my opacity down just a little bit so I can start to see where that bowl is situated because I need to position it so that it is going, so at least the lip of this bowl, the top opening, is going from one side of my person's head to the other. I also want it to be um, right underneath his eyes, so right across his nose here. So it looks pretty perfect as is. If you do need to move it at all, you can scale it um, as long as you're in your move tool and you have your show transform controls checked. Um, always hold your shift key down when you're scaling things up or down so that you don't lose proportion. And then just hit return when you're happy with it. And actually, I'm gonna just scale this in just a little bit more there. Okay, now we get to work with our pen tool. So we're gonna go to our regular pen tool. I've gone ahead and taken the opacity back up on this bowl layer. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so that I can see a bit better. And what I wanna do is select as precisely as I can the opening of the bowl. And I want to see a little bit of the lip of the bowl in my selection. Just a reminder with the pen tool, as you use that pen tool, you're gonna to click where you want that path to go click and drag to get it to curve. And then once you have gotten that path the way that you want it, you can let go and then hold the option key down and click back on that anchor. And what that does is it just deletes the last handle that you pulled so that you have more control over the next part of the path that you're creating. So again, option key, click back on the anchor, 
that deletes that handle and then you're good to go forward. I'm gonna keep working on this and then I'll come back to you in just a second. Okay, so I have my closed path here and I am ready to go ahead and make a selection with this. So when you have a path, you can always right click or control click and then make selection. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And as long as I am in the layer that I want to mask, which I am, my bowl layer, I'm going to go, go ahead and go back down here to my mask icon in my layers window, little Japanese flag, and click on that to mask it. And that's looking pretty good. Zoom out here. Now, if you needed to scale it anymore, you could do that. I could go in here to my move tool, and let's say I feel like I need to move this a little bit farther out. I could do that. but you don't want to scale this after we do our next step. So what I'm gonna do is actually go into my bowl mask here. I'm gonna hold down my command key and click in the mask thumbnail of this layer. So that's the little black and white right here. Then make sure that you're in a selection tool, so that could be your quick selection tool, and you're going to right click or control click on the document and make a work path. And two, two pixels is fine, so just go ahead and hit OK. And now what we need to do is we've created this path. We just need to take the top of this path and stretch it around our person. So I'm gonna go to my white arrow, my direct selection tool, and I'm gonna click on these anchors and just move the anchors out of the way. Maybe even use this handle to kind of move that. So I just want these to go above and around the top of the head of my portrait. So I'm just clicking and moving those around. All right, so then once I've done that, I'm actually going to make a selection again. So I'm going to click onto this top portrait, hit control click or right click, and then I am going to make selection and hit OK. Now I need to go ahead and basically I'm going to chop this guy's head in half. So I'm going to hit a Command X to delete that top portion that I've selected and then hit a Command Shift V to paste that down again. Um, and I'm going to take that layer here in my layers pull it on top of my bowl layer, and then go to my move tool, zoom out here, hold the shift key down and click and drag that straight up. Whoops, what's going on there? Let me try that again. Oh, I don't know what was going on there before, but now that looks about right. So I'm gonna shift, I'll hold that shift key down and um, click and drag that up so it just comes straight up. Now I'm going to turn the visibility on this other copy of this uh, person that I have. Now, now I'm going to click down on this bottom copy and I'm going to scale him down. So I'm going to hold the shift key and then click on the corner, then hold down the alt or option key and scale him down so he just scales perfectly down in the center and then hold that shift key and pull him up. So I want his eyes to be kind of centered here, so that looks pretty good to me. Now the only problem is it doesn't look like he's inside of this bowl, so we want to change that. So one thing that we can do, if I hit return here, I can click on the bottom of my first Russian doll here. So if you see I have the top of his head and then I have the bottom of his head here. If I hold my command key down and click on that thumbnail, then if I do a control click, oh, but I have to be in a selection tool. So go to your selection tool, do a control click and select inverse and then click on your mask icon. So there I have masked everything out except for um, these side shoulders, which I'll get here in a second. Now the next thing I wanna do is I also want to pull this layer up above the bowl layer. So there he is now sitting inside of the bowl. 
And then I'm going to click on the mask, go into my brush tool, and with black, I'm going to paint out these shoulders that are left here. And there you go. Now, the last thing that I need to do is turn my background layer back on. I need to unlock it. And then I'm going to use this to create my background for my Russian doll here. So I'm going to go into what's called the patch tool. And I'm going to make a selection that's very close around the head of this bottom layer. So then I'm going to click and drag this basically over until I see that this side portion is showing kind of what I want and then let go. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to click and drag that over until the other side portion is looking about right. And then I'll let go and then I'll do a command D to deselect. And voila, we have a very cool Russian doll image.